<clears throat> Yo, what's going on guys? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> How's everyone doing this afternoon? It's going to be afternoon for most people watching here unless you're from uh, the UK. Uh, in which case... In which case it is uh, probably nighttime for you. Omar, what's up, brother? Oliveira, what's good? How you doing? How you guys doing? Where is everybody watching from tonight? Where are you guys watching from? Nine p.m. here, so Oliveira. I would assume that you. I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, you probably watching from England or somewhere. Then I would assume. You watching the World Cup? Uh, I was just watching Argentina and um, fuck, who are they playing? Poland. I did miss the USA game yesterday. Unfortunately, I was training. Portugal. Lots of uh, lots of peeps from from other countries, man. I love it. I love it. <coughs> What do you think of the Arnold split? Um, I mean, it's kind of like push-pull legs. I think push-pull legs and the Arnold split are pretty much the same thing. You're just kind of moving things around more. I think that push-pull legs makes a little bit more sense, uh, in my opinion. But I think the Arnold split is fine. I think one of the things that the Arnold split has, you know, with advantages over the push-pull legs uh, split is that you'll probably get better arm progress because you have a dedicated arm day. Uh, but in the same token, you'll probably get better like chest and back progress on a push-pull leg split because you give them separate days instead of training them together. So it's it's a personal preference. Mexico got so unlucky. I did not see that. I did not see that. I had every intention of watching the games uh, this morning, and then I had a pretty late start uh, to my morning, so I did not get to see that one. Have you got your straps on? No, I I'm just chilling. I don't I don't chill with my straps on. Should I use lifting straps on lateral raises? I do. <clears throat> I think, you know, to what degree the um to what degree, you know, grip strength is like a determining factor for lateral raises is like up in the air. Some people may not think it's that much, but, uh, you know, even if it's just a little bit, I like to eliminate all the limiting factors. So when I do lateral raises, I use straps personally. Seven minutes away. Sorry guys, I'm also <clears throat> I'm also answering some client messages while I'm while I'm answering this. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, how long does it take to recover on your chest days? Uh, I recover from my chest uh, pretty quickly because I'm not doing a ton of chest volume right now, and I only train my chest once per week. So, <clears throat> I mean, for me, it's not very long. No work today. That's nice, man. Nikki, what are you doing? I hope you're just chilling. Hope you're chilling. Thoughts on Paul Carter versus JPG on pull downs? Uh, I I honestly don't even know what you're talking about, uh, Grape Ape. I don't I don't know what the difference is. <coughs> I would assume it's either two different exercises or two like different thought processes on lat pull downs. But I just like I don't pay attention to know what it is. Seeing visible abs, am I lean enough to bulk? Definitely, Ryan. I started using EAA as I don't always like eating prior to working out early morning. Yeah, uh, when I train like super early in the morning, I have like EAAs. I don't eat food. 
uh, any plans for this Christmas? Um, I am going to probably be going home and uh, seeing my family, but that's really about as much as I know. I'm sure some other stuff will pop up that I'm just not aware of at the moment. But yeah, the, ho the holidays are always busy. Holidays are always a super busy time. Is TikTok your job? No, Grape Ape Man. I'm an I'm an online coach, so I use, um, I use like TikTok as a means to like market my uh, coaching business. But it's the actual coaching business itself that <clears throat> pays my bills. Uh, EAA, what are your thoughts when lifting early morning? So yeah, Foop, I kind of said that earlier. That's definitely what I would prefer to do. I don't like to eat food uh, in the morning if I'm training early in the morning. I would do something like an EAA. EAA and a simple carb, like a, you know, a Gatorade powder or whatever, whatever it is that you like. I squat 252 at 16. Is that good? Honestly, bro, I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know anything about that type of shit. Can you give more detail as to why beginners can't try to bring everything up uh, when massing? Um, John, John son, I actually don't believe that. I think that beginners are probably the best candidates to be able to bring everything up when they're massing because training is uh, a fairly novel stimulus to them. I think as you become more and more advanced, you need to specialize your training more towards certain, you know, body parts. But as a beginner, I would train everything equally. Relatively equally. Um, I have a math test in an hour. Have fun with that. Do you think it matters having six meals a day or can I just get all my calories in three big solid meals? Um, so I would try to have at least like four meals per day. Uh, just simply every, every time that you eat a, a protein rich meal, that's an opportunity for muscle protein synthesis to be stimulated. Uh, and we do, I mean, if, if you're really splitting hairs, you do want to try and do that as frequently throughout the day as you can. It kind of gives you the best possible chance of building muscle. So I, I would personally go like four. I, I personally would never go below four meals, but I've had plenty of days where I've gone four. It just depends how my appetite is. Thoughts on the 3-7 method? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know what the 3-7 method is. I was asking you, bro, but I can't, but I actually just got a GNC sales job like three weeks ago. Nikki, that's awesome, man. That's a really good job for bodybuilding, man. A pretty low stress job. JPG, Dream Carter, da, da, da. Where did you go to college? I did not go to college, Nick Quivy. Is spending time at the top of hack squat to get more reps uh, a good idea or immediately eccentric? Um, I spend time at the at the top to catch my breath. Um, in an in an ideal world, you would probably do them like you know continuously, but uh, I think your cardiovascular system will probably fail you before your muscles do. All right, guys, just give me a second here, guys. I'm trying to uh, catch up with my questions. I, I feel like I say this every every time I do a live, but guys, please, please refrain from like spamming your question in here multiple times. I'm I'm trying to answer everybody. Uh, and, and so if if you ask a question, I will get to it. Just please, please don't spam it, please. Oh, let's see. Okay, where'd I go to college? I didn't go to college. Um, he's right there first. Why the Yankees not a Chicago team? I don't know, man. When I was when I was a kid, I just always loved the Yankees, and I've just I have just like you know grown up that way. I mean, I was like four years old wanting to watch the Yankees. You know what I mean? And you know, when you're that young, like I don't fucking know why I liked them so much. I just I always have. My bad. Alternative to a T-bar row, a bent over dumbbell row, or a chest supported dumbbell row. 
Did you major in college in kinesia or nutrition? No, I, I didn't go to college. When should I stop the cut? I'm 5'3". Well, uh, you, you, if you're tired of the cut, then stop. I mean, you answered, you answered your own question. Unless, unless you're like a competitor, you don't have to abide by any timelines. You can stop and start your cuts and bulks whenever you want. Single arm dumbbell rows or barbell rows for hyper. Why not both? Um, if my legs are unproportionately large compared to my upper body, is training them less an option? Absolutely. And that's how I would program it. I would train everything more frequently than your legs. How should I go about weight training if I only have three days to train? I would do full body training. That's how I would do it. Full body training. Or upper lower. Currently sick for two days. Yeah, I would just deload. Maybe the real liver king was the 12K we made along the way. That's such a dub, placeholder. What size are your arms? I have no idea. Do split squats work the entire quad or just the rec fem? They'll work the whole quad. Um... Why do you only do one or two sets? Because those sets are done at maximum intensity and progressively overloaded every time. Why do you always come on my For You page but never my face? Bro, that's sus. If a body part is lacking, how much would you increase volume, if at all? Um, I, I wouldn't look at volume first. I would look at execution. Like, are you are you actually training the muscle the way that you're supposed to be training it? You have to you have to be able to do one set right before you can worry about how many of those you should do. I do eight sets of chest per session and I can progress five of them. Should I eliminate the three? Yes. If you're not progressing them, there's no point. How come when I started using lifting straps on T bar row, I feel my back less? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Grape Ape FST7 training. I don't think there's anything special about it. I think it's more like a marketing tactic, more so than anything. Okay, I've said I've said this a couple times, but I'll say it again, guys. Please, um, please refrain from asking your question multiple times. I'm trying to catch up and answer all of them. How long can beginners get away with recomp? Um, I don't know, not very long. Like definitely not more than like six months or a year. So if no college, what did you do right out of high school? I, I graduated high school and then I went, I went to a community college. I have my associate's degree, but I just have my associate's degree in like applied science. You know what I mean? I have my general education classes. But while I was going to school, I got my personal training certification, and then I was personal training pretty much right after high school, like two years or so after high school, I was personal training. Um, what kind of plans do you offer? Um, if you go to my website, I've got my, my stuff on there, but um, consultation calls, um, one-time training program, and nutrition programs. And then the monthly coaching, which is, you know, the premier service, you know what I mean? That's, that's where I, we actually coach or I actually coach you uh, and we check in once per week. Uh, let's see, answered that already. Do you need to have the same volume when lifting heavier weights? Um, that is, those are two things that don't, you know, cor correlate with each other so if I've already eaten all my calories for the day then I lift will the protein I already ate count yeah of course <clears throat> of course um, I swear you told me you went to college yeah I, I guess I guess I'm misleading with that or whatever but 
Um, I did, I did go to college, but I have my associate's degree and it was just a community college. I didn't go to like a university. Like I, obviously it depends like where people live or are, you know, are listening to this, but you can obviously go to like a full university and like major in something. Uh, but you know, typically your first two years are just like basic general education classes. So at least in, in the, you know, in the United States, there are schools that are like referred to, um, you know, amongst many other things as community colleges where you can just like get your associate's degree and just get the general education courses like out of the way for a lot cheaper. And then from there, you can go on to get your bachelor's degree from a four-year university and a major of your choosing. But I finished high school and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I just like, I went to community college to get my gen eds and then I was working at like a hardware store. And then I got my personal training certification while I was doing all of that. How do you approach your rest days? Um, I eat the same amount of food as I do as a training day and I just chill out. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty busy, so I have a lot of work that I can do on my rest days, but uh, otherwise I just like play video games or something. Oh, let's see. Should you arch your back when you do RDLs? No, I would keep a neutral spine. Uh, I would not have an anterior pelvic tilt. I would have a neutral spine. Is it bad if I run out of breath during squats after more than six reps? Um, I mean, obviously your breath, your breath is going to get like impacted when you do that. But if you're like breathing super heavy and like literally, you know, can't focus like, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. Is it okay to work out six times a week if I am still progressing and increasing the weights? Yeah. If, if your logbook is progressing, just what you're doing is working. Uh, yo, how you doing? Uh, is it cello, cello, big cello, cello, what's up? Um, have you played Warzone 2? If not, do you play? So I do play, um, and I have played it. I haven't really played a lot of it, honestly. Um, it's fun. It's definitely different than Warzone 1. Um, I'm still, I'm still fucking playing on, like, an Xbox One. Like, I'm fucking living in the Stone Age. So, I mean, my, my issues are all, like, graphical, you know, or, like, you know, graphic-wise. Like, you know, I can't fucking see shit because I'm playing the game on a dinosaur console, but it's fun. <clears throat> Do protein bars count as quality sources of protein? Uh, depends on the protein bar. Depends on, uh, you know, the protein source that they're using. If they're using like a whey isolate or something, then sure. How should I train when I have mono? I don't want to lose muscle. Uh, you don't train at all. You absolutely do not train when you get mono. What do I do if I have sleep problems? Do they interfere with weight training? So definitely, uh, you know, sleep is your greatest recovery tool that we have available to us. So uh, the better your sleep, the better your training. Can I leave myself at three RIR and count that as a deload for a week? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, does it matter what time you go to the gym every day? No, it's personal preference. Does drinking lots of milk cause gyno? No, it does not. Uh, favorite tricep exercise? I love a JM press or uh, a dip. Way to dip. Those are good ones. Um, let's see. Should I make sure a whey brand is third party tested before purchasing? I would, um, I would make sure just to make sure that you're actually getting what you're paying for. Um, what determines how many warm up sets, uh, depends on the exercise and it depends where it's at in the session, more warm up sets for stuff earlier on. And then as the workout goes on, they get less and less as I get more warmed up. Um, advice for becoming a personal trainer, uh, just go do it. I mean, you can, you can literally walk into any corporate gym, <clears throat> LA fitness, fucking anytime, whatever, like you don't need a certification to get pers to be a personal trainer. You'll make more money if you have a certification, but you don't need one, uh, to get started. So literally just fucking do it <laughs> and, and do it. 
<clears throat> I've been training for six months, but I have a massive chest imbalance. Should I only work one? If you've only been training for six months, that's way too early. Um, way too early to be judging your physique. I mean, you're still swimming in the kiddie pool, man. It's way too early to be able to tell that. Uh, Patrick, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. Where do I start in the coaching business without a degree? Uh, make content and let the market decide if you're good enough to be a coach. I feel like I'm going to throw up three quarters of the way through most of my workouts. Any tips to help? Um, I would make sure that you're hydrated and I would make sure that you're giving yourself like plenty of time between when you eat your meal uh, and then you train. Uh, I would make sure that the food that you're eating in your pre-workout meal is food that actually digests well with you. Uh, and then I would reduce the size of your pre-workout meal. My, my pre-workout meal is my smallest meal of the day because I don't, I don't like the feeling of having lots of food in my stomach while I'm training. Uh, do you think Liver King is natty? Absolutely not. You're uh, Lon John. You're a huge help. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, what should I do if I constantly feel out of breath on exercises? I would start doing cardio and get your cardiovascular system improved. Uh, ever gotten a huge headache uh, after intense sets? No, not really. Um, I would make sure that you're hydrated and I would make sure that you're actually breathing. I find a lot of times when people get headaches, like you watch their, you watch their training and they're not even breathing, like while they're lifting. Uh, do you set your scapula when you're pressing? Yes, I do. Uh, let's see. I have a home gym. Can I train push pull three times every week and differ the volume? Yeah, of course. Why not? How far out from a workout to consume a lot of protein? It slows me down if I do just before. Um, I My pre-workout meal is usually like 90 minutes before I train. So I give, I give myself plenty of time. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, thoughts on gear, brother. I mean, if you're not, if you're not going to be a competitor or have no intentions uh, of making money off of your physique, I would never touch gear. I wouldn't touch it. <clears throat> Does it get annoying being interrupted mid session because of your rugged good looks? Uh, yeah, man, super frustrating. It's the man crush though. It's the man crush. Are you natural? No. Uh, thoughts on Zaza? I love it. I'm high right now. Uh, I heard that I should not train more than three days in a row. Is this right? Uh, depends on how hard you train. I could never train th more than three days in a row. Even three days in a row would be pretty hard. That third day would kind of be a pretty shitty workout. <sighs> Bro is bundled up. I am. It's pretty cold today. It's 27 degrees in the suburbs of Chicago and that's before the wind chill and it's actually super fucking windy outside today it's pretty cold um, do you set your scapula when you're pressing I do is nine sets per muscle group twice a week too much your logbook will answer that would you suggest an upper lower or PPL uh, it depends on your training age for most people upper lower how do you adjust load and reps after a week off deload, keeping same weight with lower reps first week? I just, I go back in with the same weight that I left off at and however many reps I got, I got. Do you do much to your beard? Um, Rogue, if, if I told you how little effort I put into my beard, you would be shocked. Um, I condition it once a week. Uh, I have beard oil, but honestly, I, I very rarely forget to... I very rarely remember to use it. Um, I, I don't do shit. I don't, I don't do anything to it. This is just pure... I comb it. I comb it in the morning. That's it. 
Uh, let's see. Mm, can you diet properly without counting calories and macros? Um, you can. Um, actually, you know what? I take that back. Probably not. I mean, you're you're really going to have to know how how much you're eating. You're going to have to be able to quantify that somehow. Um, some people can, but I think the average person would not be able to. How many working sets can I do weekly for chest? I, I can't, I won't, I can't answer that because that is dependent on every individual. Um, when did you start your first cycle and you look very dominant? I did my first cycle last year, like midway through last year. Are you being dead ass about the za? Yes, yeah, Spence, I'm, I'm dead ass, bro. I got no reason to lie. Is 2,500 calories good for gain -taining? I can't answer that. Uh, what the burbs? I'm out in Romeoville. Danny, I live in Wheaton. I'm sure, I'm sure you know where Wheaton is, but we're, yeah, I'm in Wheaton. Uh, jacket name? Um, I don't know, bro. I bought this at a thrift store. It says Team USA on it, and I think that's pretty cool. So... Bro, bro, reading the comments delayed as hell. I'm just trying to read all of them. EAO, I, I'm not trying to leave anybody out. So I, I make it very clear at the beginning that I'm going to be behind. If logbook has stalled, should I do less volume? I would deload. Uh, can you talk about your clients? Um, I don't talk about like clients like on an individual basis. I can talk about my coaching business, but like... I won't talk about any of my clients like individually. I, you know, privacy. Um, just had the flu and lost nine pounds in 10 days. How far does this set me back? Uh, probably not, um, probably not as, uh, far as you think. Um, most of that weight is just water and glycogen. Just take a couple of days and eat some food and, and you'll be good. And you'll be good. Um, have you worked with 40 plus men? I have. I have I have a couple people that I work with now that are over 40. I train MMA. What's a good split where I'm only lifting three days a week? I would train full body. Switch to upper lower and do eight sets. I can't answer that question. Guys, please, please do not ask me questions about like, is this number of sets enough? It's like there, there's no set number that I can give you. The, the total amount of sets that you do is completely dependent on how hard you train. Um, are three full body workouts done well enough? Absolutely. Um, when is the next physique update? I don't know when the next physique update will be. Uh, and the current weight is 230. I'm 230. Uh, yo, will you ever do a physique reveal? I've posted my physique several times on TikTok, man. Just search search my username and physique in the search bar you'll f i don't post them very often but it's a, you know it's not like i've never posted them ever do people pin certain parts of their body for any particular reason uh, most of the time people are going to choose uh their pinning location based off of um like how Okay, so when when you in, when you inject an area over and over and over again, scar tissue builds up in that area, and there are there are like certain muscle groups. Obviously, the more scar tissue that you have build up in a muscle, that's going to blur your definition. And so, if you're a competitor, that's a big deal because if you're like pinning your glutes or you're pinning your quads, and that blurs the definition in your glutes and your quads, that's going to impact your judging score um, and your ability to win. So. That's that's usually why people, competitors at least, will will pin certain areas. If you don't compete, pin wherever you want. Um, bro, I was not expecting that. So funny, Spence. I think you'd be pretty surprised, bro. Uh, hello, uh, S Fitness. What's up? What's up? Do you think a leg press and leg extensions are good enough for quads in a leg day? Yeah, of course. That would definitely be enough. Um, how can I achieve the Greek God beard, bro? You just, you got to have good parents. You got to have good genetics. 
the bulk face is coming through. Yeah, that's the bulk is definitely at its end. Uh, I'm just, I'm just maintaining my body weight right now. I'm going to maintain my body weight for the next month. And then the beginning of January, I'm going to diet and I can't fucking wait to diet. I cannot wait. Would I progress well in calisthenics even if I'm bulking? I don't really know anything about calisthenics. I can't answer that question confidently. Best methods to push the bulk when in a plateau? Eat more food, bro. It's literally that simple. Just eat more food. I mostly only do one set per exercise with drop sets and forced reps. Cool. Um, thoughts on Liver King news? I don't think it's surprising to anybody, honestly. Uh, are you back on cycle? No, I'm cruising right now. Your cut will unironically be legendary. I hope so. Um, are you planning on getting a posing coach or are you just going to wing it? I'm definitely going to get a posing coach, man. The, uh, the client, the client that I prepped for this, this past show, what it was like two or three weeks ago now, he worked with a posing coach and there was like so many things that I would, I learned that I would not, not learn before, you know, I would not learn that on my own. So I, I would, I'm definitely going to get a coach probably. What should I do with my training as I'm starting my mini cut? I have a similar training style to you. Uh, I would not change anything about your training until your logbook tells you that you need to. So I would just literally continue the same training that you're doing. I mostly only do one set per exercise. Okay. Why do you never take pre-workout? I just think that the money that people are spending on pre-workout could be allocated better. I mean, I worked, I worked at GNC for a long time, man. Like the amount of people that come in once a month and spend 50 to 60 bucks on a tub of pre-workout when they could be spending that 50 to 60 bucks, like, I don't know, getting more chicken or whatever. Like, I, I just, I think that there's like money that could be allocated better elsewhere. And I also, I also don't think that pre-workout like makes my workout significantly better. Like, yeah, like when I when I take a pre workout, it's not like I get stronger. I just it doesn't really make my workouts any any better. So I just I don't see the point. I take caffeine, but I don't need to spend sixty bucks a month on something to get caffeine. I can just take a caffeine pill or drink an energy drink or something. I'm in the same boat. Do you wear XL? I wear XL and two XL. Uh, it just, you know, it depends, but some, most of my gym stuff is like two XL. Uh, when do you think you'll compete? Uh, I would love to compete next year. I would love to compete next year. Um, why me and you on the same diet schedule? Spence, actually, there's a lot, there's a lot of people that I have that are uh, starting a diet at the beginning of the year. I, I, I'm actually, you know, it is, it is kind of funny. We're all going to be dieting at the same time. It is kind of funny. Um, why waste time in maintenance? Um, honestly, I have never done a maintenance phase before in my life. So I want to actually do one this year, uh, and see how it impacts my cut. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's a waste of time. I think it's, you know, a good idea. I'm only doing it for like a month or six weeks. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm doing this for like three months, but you know, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with doing it for a month or a month and a half. And we're going to find out. So that's, you know, one, uh, one of the things that I love to do is try things that I've never done before and see what happens. So I've never done a maintenance phase before. So I want to do one and just see what happens. Why would you do two different rep ranges during sets? Because hypertrophy occurs in a multitude of rep ranges, and so I find it beneficial to train in all of your rep ranges. Um, are slow and fast metabolisms real? Um, I don't really know like what the science says, but I, I feel like it's real. I mean, I definitely feel like my metabolism has picked up considerably as I've gotten bigger and stronger. I mean, there, there was a point, there was a point where like, if I ate 3000 calories, like my weight was skyrocketing and I maintain my weight now on 4,500 calories and I sit on my ass all day except for training. So it's not like I'm super active. I just, I feel like I, it's because I'm bigger and stronger and I train really fucking hard and people will say that that doesn't affect your metabolism, but from my experience, it's different. 
Have you done a show? If not, have a date set. I have not competed yet, but I'm more than likely going to be competing next year. I, I mean, that's the idea. Uh, do you think split really matters? Um, it matters, but I, I don't think it matters like to the extent that people like obsess over it, honestly. In prep clients, would you ever take out protein for carbs to improve performance? Definitely, Spence. Uh, it depends where their protein is at at that point. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure that you've noticed like with yourself, like there's been like a range of protein. So let's say, you know, let's say your range is like 200 to 240 or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, if you're cutting and doing 240, um, I may pull out 40 grams of protein and put in 40 grams of carbs. Uh, and I may do the same thing, vice versa. I may take out carbs and add in protein because eating more protein can help with appetite control better. So you can, you can kind of flip-flop stuff in and out. Um, how do you make a sustainable living working at a supplement? So I don't work at a supplement store anymore. I'm an online coach. So, I mean, I, I will like work at the store one to two days a week maybe. But thoughts on 1,200 calorie cut for two weeks? I can't answer that. Can you get stronger on a cut? Of course. Um, let's see. How's your day, bro? Oscar, my day is going good, bro. How about you? How about you, man? How's it going? It is, it's almost like two o'clock over your way. So I would assume you're probably getting ready to train sometime soon. If not, you're resting today. Um, is you doing cuffs, pullovers, single arm, a comfort thing, or is it more optimal? Uh, it feels more comfortable to me, which I think is optimal. What do you feel is your genetic strong point? Uh, my shoulders. Um, I feel like I'm naturally pretty wide. Who you got this week, the Bears or the Packers? Look, bro, I'm a Bear fan, and I would love to beat the Packers, but the Bears are kind of shit right now. Everyone's hurt, and we don't have anybody. So we got to start dieting early because I'm never as lean as I want to during summer. It's probably a good idea. Can you gain strength, muscle on a cut? Yeah, but it's probably not going to be super, you know, crazy amounts. Maintenance is good. You make good gains and don't get fat. In your opinion, do you feel like someone can get adequate volume training only two to three, three days a week? Two, probably not. Three, for sure. If you do like a, a well-executed full body split. Maintenance phase helps you hold on to new tissue built at the end of massing. Yeah, Spence, you know, that's that's kind of the thought process behind it. Um, but like I said, I've, I've never actually tried it on myself to see if it actually works. So I wanted to do that this year. Is it bad to take all my sets to failure? No, I mean, I do that. I do that. Um, let's go off. How can people have a lagging body part? Uh, just some body parts don't respond in the same amount, but at the same time, um, like usually it just comes down to exercise execution. You know, some most of the time, like people will have a body part that they just don't know how to execute the, the exercises properly, and for that reason, the muscle doesn't grow at the same rate. Thoughts on the school system? Fuck, bro, we're getting deep. I I mean, it's I feel like it's kind of fucked up, but. I mean, I don't, I don't really know much more than that. Um, do bro went deep as hell for this one. Uh, updated top six O predictions. Um, I still think that it's gonna be Rami is gonna win, and then the rest of the top five will be Hottie, Hunter, Nick, Brandon Curry, and William Bonac. I, I, I don't think that my top six has changed. Did you see Terrence with the post on progressing his lifts until this week? I did not, Spence. Let me see if I can find that. I'll have to look at that a little later. What's this thing? Rough Diesel, right? Ah, oh, Rough Diesel. How long until you adjust your calories if you don't see results? Typically two weeks. Um, yeah, typically two weeks. 
Thoughts on banded bench for bigger 1RM? I really don't know much about like improving your 1RM. So I don't I don't really know. Just got done training pretty solid. The internal rotated extensions feel good, man. I really like I really like those two. I feel like it's a super comfortable movement. It feels really good. Is doing a hip hinge necessary? I think it is, personally. Unless you have, for like some sort of injury reason, you can't do it. Um, I, I think it is necessary, honestly. Just you're going to get crazy trap, erector, hamstring thickness from it. I think it's just something that is. Why don't you join the Bears then? What do you mean join join the Bears? The Packers are trash too. Yeah, the, the Packers are not very good, but I mean, they're definitely better than, they're definitely better on, uh, than the Bears. Uh, thoughts on squat shoes. I don't, I don't really care for them personally, but I don't, I don't see an issue with them. Would you gain more muscle high protein deficit versus low protein surplus? No, you would gain more in a surplus. The, the caloric surplus alone is anabolic, whether or not that all comes from protein or not, but being in a surplus with adequate protein is very anabolic. Unfortunately, the bears are worse. You are correct. You are correct. What's the shortest period of time I should commit to bulking for it to be worth it? Um, I would say six months. That's like, that's the shortest amount of time that I would commit to a bulk is six months. You're, pro you're probably not going to build like significant amounts of, amounts of muscle in any time less than six months. Hot take high school system is worse than college. Eh, you're probably right, Spence. You're probably right. The colleges just make so much more money, though. How many sets do you recommend per muscle? Uh, I mean, typically like three to eight. It just depends on how hard you're training. I have some weight to lose, uh, but I am splitting it up into multiple mini cuts between a bulk. That's a pretty good approach. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you want to lift right now? Uh, probably like a 3. It's a rest day. I've been big chilling. Uh, who would live longer? Person who eats healthy. Uh, I definitely... Uh, Kobe, it's probably the person who like works out more. Obviously, it depends how much... P how, you know, how strong of PEDs they're taking. But... Do you think personal training is worth it? I mean, I guess it, it depends. It depends what uh, what you want. I I don't know, man. I can't I can't really tell anybody like what career they should go after. Who am I to tell you that? How do you think someone should try to find their maximum recoverable volume? Uh, just try. I mean, increase it until you find the ceiling. Just keep trying to push it. Um, did you end up buying multiplayer during the sales? I did not, Oscar. How much was it on sale for? It was probably like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks or something. How much was it on sale for? I probably, sh I probably should have, but it, to it totally slipped my mind until you said that. Thoughts on using a trap bar for RDLs? Uh, I think if it feels good to you, then it's perfectly fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, should I have a goal of hitting 315 on barbell bench? Should I do lots of... Yes, if if you want to get better at the barbell bench, then I would do the barbell bench more. Yeah, Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson's a dog. So is Jaquan Brisker. So, I, I you know, I think, the, I think the Bears' future is very promising, but, like, this year is a wash. College motherfuckers went out of state and pay up. When I get paid to go to my school, yeah, bro, when you go to when you go to like a local place and you can get like the the aid and shit, that helps big time. Uh you ever go to Planet Fitness? I've ever actu never actually been to a Planet Fitness in my life. High school is prison, literally, you are correct. Uh Justin Fields is electric. Yeah, he's he is very exciting and he's getting better and better and better each week. He we just got to get pieces around him. What do you think of full range of motion on leg press? Um, I mean, full range of motion is always a dub. Yeah, 30 I figured that's what it was. Oscar was probably about 30 bucks. Yeah, I definitely missed my opportunity there. 
Maybe it'll go on like a Christmas sale or something. Maybe. Hopefully. What is a good body fat percentage to get to before starting a bulk? Um, I don't know, man. 12 to 15% or something. Justin Fields dropped 60 on my high school. I will never forget. Holy shit. Bro pulled up and dropped a bomb. How tall are you? Uh, I'm like 5'9". 5'8", five, 5'9". Nine, five, five, do you smoke? Yes, I do. Um, are you natty? No. Ever dabble in good mornings? Uh, I have not done good mornings in a while. Um, it's been a while since I've done those. I prefer an RDL. How would you determine how many calories to eat in a calorie deficit? I would choose a certain number of calories, eat at that level, and then see what your body weight does. And if it goes down, I wouldn't change anything. What type of places accurately measure body fat? Um, I mean, probably a DEXA scan, but I don't even know where you go to get a DEXA scan. All right, guys, I'm going to be on for about five more minutes or so. So we'll kind of use this as an opportunity to get the last uh, you know, round of questions in. I'm going to eat a meal, uh, and then I got some more work to catch up on. I got a podcast episode that I'm putting together. Oh, let's see. What type of... I answered that already. Should I quintuple scoop my pre-workout before I go for a one rep max? So what I would do is I would take the entire tub of pre-workout, and I would mix it uh, in like uh, you know a jug of water, and I would just drink the whole fucking thing. As a Bears fan, how do you balance the depression you feel on Sundays with the rest of your life? Uh, honestly, bro, like I hate I hate to be a pessimist, but like I feel I feel like every week I go into the game kind of realistically expecting us to lose. Um, but it is it is fucking annoying though. It's super annoying. I'm a Browns fan. Imagine me. Yeah, Maddie. I mean, you're right about the Browns, but um, they're they're going to be very good. They're going to be very good soon. <sighs> Got it. I don't have water, so I'll just use Monster instead. Yeah, I would use a Bang. I'm sick at the moment. Is it smart to rest? Yes. No, definitely do not uh, train while you're sick. Do not, do not, do not. Oh, boy. Crazy hair. This is that beanie hair, guys. <clears throat> I'm a Steelers fan. Yeah, I mean, they've struggled recently, but you guys have had some success recently. Whereas I feel like the Bears have been shit my entire life, except for, two thousand. I think it was 2008, when we went to the Super Bowl. Um... How was your training or journey like the first year of lifting? Uh, my first year of lifting was, I mean, like not that great. Just like most people's first year of lifting. Um, I don't think it was terrible, but I, I definitely could have been better about it. How long more are you planning on massing? I'm done. I'm done with my mass. I'm just maintaining my body weight right now. And then... Um, uh, and then I'm going to diet in a month. I have a bit of pain in my shoulder. Should I continue to train? Yeah, just train around it. Don't do exercises that bother it. Bit of Cody Parkey double doink action, bro. You hate to see it. You just fucking straight up hate to see it. Uh, tips to get the last bit of fat off. Just keep on dieting. I mean, it's that simple. If you just continue to be in a calorie deficit, it'll come off. So just keep on keeping on. Opinions on Liver King being exposed. I don't think anybody is surprised by it, honestly. Um, do you bench press? Um, I do not. I have not barbell bench press in probably three years. Why maintain for a month before a cut? Uh, because I've never done a maintenance phase before, and I want to try it this year to see uh, if it helps me solidify my muscle a little bit more. Hey, my leg press machine is broken. What should I do instead? Do a squat or a lunge or a dumbbell split squat. Advice on golfers, elbow pain. Shit is annoying. Uh, go on YouTube and type in golfers elbow treatment and watch it. 
What's up, bro? I have a question. What's the difference between pump and non-stim? Uh, nothing, really. Most pump workouts and non-stim workouts are the same thing. Just a different terminology. Uh, will there be more podcast episodes soon? So I'm actually in the process of making one right now. Let me, how do I flip my camera on this? Uh, how do I flip my camera on this? Is this thing smarter than me? I think it is, man. I think this thing is smarter than me. I don't know how to flip my camera around on this. This is kind of embarrassing. Flip camera. Why do they hide it like that? So I'm filming a podcast episode right now. Uh, this is going to be my next podcast episode, which is going to be the ultimate uh, guide to deloads uh, because I feel like deloads deloads are probably the one thing that I get the most questions about. So I kind of just want to put something big out there to answer all the questions. Why do you disagree with Paul Carter about the five to eight rep range being the most optimal? I've uploaded several videos on the topic. You can just search my name and search rep ranges and watch those. Thank you, I figured. Are you still doing the single set of split squats? Um, yes, uh, I am. And I guess you didn't up it to two after the hack regressed. Um, so I did up it to two for like a two week period, but um, both of my squatting patterns uh, stalled. So I am still doing the split squats and I am still doing one set, just one. Um, hope you had a good Thanksgiving, uh, Epstein. I definitely did, man. I had a I had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for uh, thank you for saying that. Um, I don't I don't know if you are in the U.S. Uh, or if you live in a country that does not celebrate Thanksgiving. But if you do live in a country that celebrates Thanksgiving, I hope that you had a great one as well. Um, we need you at Vitamin Shop. Uh, no, thank you. On my first bulk, I'm up nine pounds. How long should my bulk last? Uh, ideally, as long as possible. I mean, I would just bulk until you're unhappy with your body fat. But uh, is there such thing as taking too many rest days? Uh, I don't believe so, unless you're training two days per week. But yeah. Why do you train certain muscles only once a week? Because I'm not trying to grow those muscles right now. My split my split is heavily focused around growing my legs, so I decrease the volume of, of other things. England. Yeah, Epstein, I, I, I figured that you lived, uh, you know, in England, but I just, you said Happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to throw it back to you just in case. So... Uh, do you own the GNC you work at? So I don't work at GNC anymore, and I do not own the store. How many times a week do I train to get a beard like you? 17. Thanks. I know you get a lot of thanks and a lot of questions, but I appreciate your content. Jedi Mind Tricks, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to go eat a meal, uh, and then I've got some more uh client work and content work that I want uh, to do. So I kind of um, I kind of talked about this earlier, but I'm in the process of making the next episode of my podcast right now, which is just going to be like the ultimate guide to deloads. So I feel like deloads is probably the one thing that I uh, get the most questions about. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of just make something uh, and, and kind of get that taken care of. So um Let's see, for any of you guys who are interested in online coaching, you can head to the link tree in my bio uh, and you can fill out my application there. Uh, follow me on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, if you don't already, you can also find those in the link tree in my bio. Uh, and yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys, and thanks for all the questions. I really appreciate it, uh, and I appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, thank you again. Take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good one.